Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets for trading session Tuesday, the 28th of November 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at US markets, whether or not they'll sustain this rally. We have broken out to all time highs, but it looks very suspicious given the uh, obviously Thanksgiving. Uh, low volume type uh, weekend okay uh, now first of all from my perspective it certainly is all surrounding tax reform okay and you can see from yesterday uh, US equities failed to continue in there and the actual uh, rally itself um, now again Trump itself is a liability uh, him just him alone uh, really I mean if you could do a quick Google search type in tax reform and you can see various articles on there here who will decide tax where they stand so again there's a lot of uncertainty here at the moment one or two senators have actually stated that if there isn't any growth uh, to justify the uh, well it's a growth that will justify the taxes which in turn justifies the spending and if that growth is not there then therefore they're going to uh, do a re uh, u turn okay and that in its of itself is certainly negative we also have one uncertainty regarding merkel and her potential uh, tax uh, well not her potential her term potential coalition uh, uh, potentially falling apart okay so a lack of conviction there so again uh, and chinese deleveraging as well so that's certainly hurting the markets now asian markets overnight last two well last night um it was certainly subdued but the night before sunday night uh, chinese markets fell almost more than a percentage point so again the market hasn't taken that into consideration either we have a raft of um uh, fed speakers so we've got williams De powell we've got uh, harker and then we've got that character, a bit of a, what I call him, a cartoon character, really. Um, looks like one of the minions, uh, Mr. Mnuchin. Okay, Treasury Secretary, again, uh, contradicts himself all the time. He's a bit of a dimwit. But either way, that's that's the, uh, that's the that's Trump in summation, really. Uh, surrounded by dimwits, really, that have uh, nothing else to, um, uh, to prove other than, obviously, personal gains. So how that will, obviously, have an effect on stock markets with Bitcoin, obviously, rising as well interesting times unprecedented times so anyway let's let less of my waffle let's go into the technicals now given the fact that we've covered the fundamentals let's look exactly where this market is going uh, and is currently headed so it would help if i had the correct charts open so bear with me one second let's bring up us indices okay so it looks like us indices are not all, okay i have to drag, drag this across each time so bear with me okay so first of all we're looking at um, the dow Will the Dow actually push higher? You can see here daily chart. Yesterday we put in a bit of a topping tail. Certainly is indicating exhaustion. You've got multiple gaps, one, two, two gaps below. And really it hinges on tax reform. Can we get tax reform passed? That's the question. Okay, from my perspective, it certainly looks like it wants to stall at this juncture. Okay, let's cross-reference that with the likes of um, the uh, Dow Transportation Index. Bear with me. Let's just bring this across for you as well. Let's bring up the daily chart, give you an insight here. Okay, so daily charts, we've had a, a potential uh, uh, short squeeze uh, coming to gap fill. Okay, certainly indicating weakness from my perspective. So really that bounce from uh, this region, we still have yet to close a gap below. And again, that may well be due to um, obviously uncertainty regarding tax reforms. So that's certainly something to consider as well. Okay, uh, now let's move on. Let's move on to the uh, S&P. Let's see exactly where the S&P is trading. Let's just bring this across now. I'll just declare that I have actually got a short position on the S&P because I'm targeting the unfilled gap below at 25.97, then support at 25.95, and then the ultimate gap fell at 25.82. This market, the way it's going at present, it's, it's a perfect setup, from my perspective anyway, for a H&S formation. So this is your left shoulder over here, okay? So you've got your head, and this is your right shoulder we we're currently playing into right now. Right, take your pivot high, take it to the pivot low, looking for a potential flush. We've held Fib 61%. Uh, if you take the pivot high, 2606, let's just quickly write this down. 2606 minus you take the neckline. If you take it down from below, you're looking at around 2598. Okay, so you're looking at around eight points. Okay, so you're looking at 2590 minimum. Okay, so again, that's your potential target, the downside for the HS. Let me just uh, put HS at the front there. Just so that people understand. Okay, so HS 2606, 2598, looking for a flush 2590 potentially, and obviously you've got gap for that 2582, which makes sense mathematically. Okay, you can see your RSI stochastics when we open at 2595, 26, 2605, sorry, uh, when we open about 2605, which is current, the current market price at the moment. Uh, we're currently trading around 2605, 2606. 
you're into that fib 75 percent so you're looking for a flush if not you're looking at holding double top okay and then obviously flushing lower so that's the status quo there again look for that potential gap fill below 25.97 uh, let's just cross-reference that now with the uh, Russell 2000. So let's just bring up the Russell. Where are thou, Russell? Okay, here we are, Mr. Russell. Okay, so Russell at the moment, you can certainly see is weaker from my perspective. It has broken out, but there's been no conviction. That's my uh, issue anyway. Uh, and obviously, you've got that on-fill gap below as well. So we've had a breakout, but no conviction, as you can see here. Uh, we've traded right back below yesterday. Uh, and from my perspective, it looks like it wants to close the gap below. Okay, so you've got that gap there. Uh, potential res previous support equals resistance in this region as well. Obviously, we've got previous support equals resistance, but that's been broken now. Okay, so again, looking for gap fill for my interpretation or my uh, expectation anyway. And again, like I said, I may be biased because I already have a short position. So do your own analysis. Just giving you my uh, insight here at the moment. Okay, uh, in terms of VIX, okay, let's look at the VIX again. I mean, how many times are we going to say the VIX is oversold? And, and then it goes and makes a new low. So it's uh it's a tricky one folks very very tricky that's all i can say from my perspective oh, i have to be in the oversold camp it's very hard for me not to okay it's very tempting to be in the oversold camp as well what after watching it being obliterated obliterated uh you can see here ever since mr trump's been in power it certainly has been obliterated so itself very impressive okay very very impressive to sell off on the uh, vix but again like i said i'm certainly expecting a potential short squeeze here now and looking for risk aversion to kick in Okay, uh, in terms of other uh, potential markets, again, we can look at the USDJPY as well. USDJPY also, we had got, I've met, met, forgot to mention the geopolitical concerns with regards to North Korea as well, so bear that in mind. Okay, so concerns over North Korea certainly are uh, resurfacing as well, which again, which is risk off. And as you can see, the USDJPY and the, the S&P generally tend to be in the Dow, generally tend to be very positive correlated ever since the USDJPY. Has been selling off uh, we can start from the uh, 3rd of november middle start of november the s p has failed to uh, move down with it so again there's some sort of divergence there whether or not uh, individuals are obviously holding on for this potential tax cut expecting markets to be higher that's another question altogether okay let's move on to the nasdaq now let's see exactly where this is going given the black friday uh, euphoria is more or less over and breaked into the market now uh, daily chart you had doji yesterday so again early signal potential reversal uh, 60 minute chart you had a bearish engulfing candle you have a bear flag scenario down to down below down to gap fill which is at 6310 10 minute chart again you have double top on the uh, nasdaq at uh, 6420 and then again obviously you've got gap fill expectations below you've got gap fill at 6385 looking for those gaps to close then you have gap fill at 6310 as well so let's see how the markets play out there in terms of the the nasdaq itself so 6420 currently trading around 6418 at the moment okay that's your status quo there okay let's cross reference out with the uh, uh, semiconductors let's just as always i always cross reference so again 60 minute chart looks uh, uh, overextended there 60 minute chart so it looks like it's exhausted and now looking to potentially move lower you've got gap fills below Daily chart as well looks exhausted. Let's look at the biotechs. Let's see how the biotechs are performing. Okay, looking at the biotechs at the moment, looking at a daily chart. Again, we've sold off bearish engulfing candle yesterday. Uh, 60 minute chart looks exhausted here ever since it closed the gap. As you can see here, these two gaps, and so it looks weaker. You've got an unfilled gap below to close. so. From my perspective, certainly looking for a bearish bias on the Nasdaq, looking for a weakness, especially given the fact that we have uh, one or two senators certainly rebelling against tax reform, which in and of itself was caused a delay. Any delay is, is perceived to be negative for the market, so always bear that in mind. Okay, right. Let's just right. Let's just get this updated. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. Uh, Fed speakers on today. Uh, economic data is, is due out soon as well. Economic data. We have Red Book. How uh, we have uh, S and P K Schiller. Uh, goods trade balance as well has come out, coming on the negative side. So so much for Mr. Uh, Trump's uh, so-called export-led uh, revolution. Either way, he's a dimwit and he's not going to uh, succeed. Even though the stock market certainly are believing it, it, it certainly will come to reality. Just like Bitcoin, really, at the moment. 
you have a lot of idiots buying Bitcoin who have no idea what blockchain is and nor do they understand how the technology works, but they're just buying for the sake of buying. Either way, that's the that's the stock market for you. That's why we get bubbles and that's why we get busts, okay? So boom and bust. Okay, so we've expanded this uh, so-called elastic band so much now it's on the verge of snapping. And will it snap for US equities? We'll soon find out. Goodbye now. And be sure to visit TradeSingler and download the latest app. Goodbye now.